hello hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your girl kelly welcome back and welcome to my new subscribers welcome to kelly grace tv thank you for clicking on this video so today we are going to make a blow the light and fluffiest ablos that you can ever ask for so uh guys quickly let me show you all the ingredients that you need for this ablo so i have some salt some yeast i have a little bit of semolina some rice flour and uh, some cornstarch sugar so these are all the ingredients we are about to use and here i am dumping my um semolina in a large bowl and in an addition of um, the rice flour i'll make sure i mix them well together make sure they are all they are both well combined so guys if you are new here and you are not subscribed here please go ahead and do so and i will really appreciate it thank you thank you so now I will use two scoop of this um, spoon, the the this large or round spoon, whatever. So I am using two scoop in um, about uh, one and a half cup of water. You can use more water to mix this because we are about to put it on fire some people um to make a blow you can have this a dancey we call it we can have it in a running way like the way we make porridge or zubon not like too light but a little bit heavy your a is supposed to be a little bit thicker but in my case it's like a kume already as you can see you will see right now so it's getting ready you don't want this adansi to get too uh, cooked, okay? So, in my case here, it looks like akume already. So, you say, why is he making akume? So, guys, lay back. I will show you how I make my ablo. There's different kind, uh, different way to make ablo, and you will love it. So, as you can see, I am throwing my um, adansi slash acme in another large bowl and I am spraying it to let it cool down fast so you will let it cool down to the point that not like cool cool to the point that you can dip your finger in it so here I am I am putting all the rest of the ingredients together all the ingredients sugar salt yeast and the starch all of them together with the uh, my earlier mixed and then i'll make sure i mix them well so they all they are all combined together yeah so as i am saying there's many many ways to make your ablo but if you know a trick of it some trick i would say you will enjoy it and your kid will love it they will keep on asking more and more of it so here i am adding the uh, akume like zobon to my combined flour and everything here just make sure you had it like uh, not too cold but warm the way it will be so you can just dip your finger in it so you can mix it the way you are seeing here so when it gets hard like this don't worry don't panic just add some water you can add some uh, warm water to it until you get the right consistency you will love your uh, bl blood to uh, be okay so after mixing it with my hand i up to some hand uh, to my hand mixture 
mix it well if you don't have your hand mixer you can go ahead and mix it well 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 with your finger your hands till you beat it back home our grandmother auntie auntie and all, all other people they beat it they beat it until it gets well fluffy that way you won't leave it for like a long time to rise okay so when this your butter above butter gets enough of beating you just need like maybe from 50 to one hour or so to um raise okay so this is my consistency as you can see that is my consistency so now i will go ahead and cover it up and put it in my stove you so as for everyone else you choose any one warm place in your house you can put it on just make sure you cover it well to trap the heat so it can rise well so here i am getting my mold ready just dip them in the in some fresh water and i will place them in my big uh strainer so a blow is cooked with some heat some steam so as you can see here let me tell you you see those bubble on top of you see all those bubble you see the air or whatever i can see so my butter rose all the way to the top of my bowl that's how it rose after one and one hour and 15 minutes so here i am scooping them in my mold so make sure you put them in a warm place and after one hour your butter will be ready to be cooked and all you need is some steam to get cooked so i put it uh, you put your strainer that have your uh, abro in the mold on top of some uh, a pot on top of uh, a pot with some boiling water and you cover it up after 10 to 12 minutes your abro will look like this it will be already soft light and fluffy and that's how your family who enjoy it as you can see my abro is nickel <laughs> you can enjoy it with anything with some ubaba, uh, some tomato stew some uh, spanish stew uh, spinach stew forgive me anything anything at all or you can just my kids just have it have them like this they don't want any stew or anything they just enjoy it just like this on its own so that will be all for today thank you all for watching thank you for all my uh, loyal um, subscribers god bless you until i see you guys next time stay blessed thank you love you bye bye